I remember only a few months ago, Mississauga was one of the busiest markets in all of the GTA, but recently it has turned into a ghost town. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean because December stats just came out and so, uh, let's get right into the stats. This is what's been happening every single month. This is how many homes sold on the Toronto Real Estate Board. And you can see here pretty much I, if you guys have been following my videos, you guys know the peak of the market was around February and March. March had over a thousand sales and only 280 homes sold in all of Mississauga. Keep in mind, this is condos and houses included all together. And this is everything in Mississauga, like air mills, square one, Churchill Meadows, anything you can think of, port credit. So out, out of all those neighborhoods, only 280 homes sold. And that is a drop of 74%. Now I know I'm comparing the highest time of the market to the lowest time of the market. So uh, let's do a bit of a apples to apples comparison. Let's do a four year comparison to see how Mississauga has been doing. In December 19, uh, December 29th, so this is December of every single year, 2019, December, 2020, December, you get the idea. So as I mentioned before, only 280 homes sold in uh, December just a month ago. And that is down 48% from last year when they had uh, 540 homes sold. That is even a bigger drop if you compare it to 2020 when it was 673 homes sold. So we have not seen this number in a long, long time, even if you compare December's only. Now uh, let's get into prices because obviously, you know, everybody wants to know how the prices are doing. So same thing as before, we are doing a four year comparison. This is December of each year, December 2019, all the way to December 2022. This is what every single type of house is selling for just last month. So for example, a detached back in 2019 was selling for 1.2. Then it made a jump of $200,000. And you would think, wow, that's a lot of money, $200,000 up in one year. That's a really good return on your investment. But look at this. <laughs> in one year, it jumped $400,000. It went from 1.4 to 1.8 in just one year. But it has come crashing down and now instead of 1.8, they were selling for 1.46, almost at the 2020 level. So we'll see how it goes in the next few months. So 1.46, they're selling for uh, just last month. That is an average price for a detached house. A semi was selling for 772 and now it jumped up to 1.13 in 2021 and it is dropped below $1 million finally. So they're selling for 964. Uh, freehold townhouses, uh, same thing. They have dropped below um, $1 million. At least for last month, they were selling for a little bit more than a semi, uh, but that can change in the coming months. Condos, condos make up a huge, huge market, especially around the square one area. So as everyone knows, Mitsaga has a lot of condos. So average price for a condo back in 2019, December was 516. A very, very small jump to 519 in one year. And then a huge jump, almost like $150,000 jump in one year in December 2021. They were selling for $656. And right now, they're right around the $600,000 mark at $611,000. So that is a four-year comparison for average prices. Um, keep this for your reference if you guys are thinking of buying or selling anytime soon, Miss Saga. But we are not done. We are just getting started. So um, let's talk pricing. Um, not a four-year comparison, but let's see how... It was month by month last year. So this is every single month. Um, yeah, every single month average prices. We will get into detached median and freehold median prices later on. But I wanted to cover average prices in the beginning. Um, same thing as before. Uh, January was the highest price at 1.96. So almost $2 million for a detached house in Mississauga. And now it has dropped to 1.42. Uh, I mean, 1.46 in December. So that is a drop of about 25%. Now let's look at freehold townhouses average price. They have dropped 24% as well. They are selling below uh, $1 million as I mentioned earlier. And uh, condos, condos average prices, uh, as I mentioned before, right around the $600,000 mark. They have been right around like 600 to 650 uh, since I would say about May. And that's a drop of 17% if you compare it to the peak of the market. So those are average prices. Now, uh, if you guys want to know which price range is doing well, which one is struggling. At the peak of the market, uh, pretty much actually uh, all throughout the year, the most popular price range has been 
five hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars you can see here but a whole lot more selling when the market was really busy which is not a surprise at all but even right now that's the most popular price range anything above 1.5 is really struggling you can see here like anything above 1.5 started going downhill until about i'd say june and right now they are almost next to nothing in december there was very very few sales above 1.5 million dollars so that is a breakdown by price range and now as i promised before i'll show you guys medium prices for a detach medium price for a detach is right around 1.29 million dollars and that is a drop from 1.72 in the winter of last year and uh, freehold tana's medium price is under a billion dollars they're selling for 955 and that is dropped from the same thing february was the highest 1.28 and um, condos median they uh, tend to be a bit more stable for medium prices uh, remember condos for average prices they were right around 600 to 650 but if you look at medium prices they are right around like a little bit below 600 and they have been like right around the 600 dollar mark so if you're looking for a half decent condo in mississauga six to six fifty is probably where you can find something decent and uh, let's see if there's anything else no i think that's about it i'll see you next time thanks bye